All right, guys, it is Species Day. I know I said I was going to do this uh, Species Sunday, Species Monday, you know, but I have a busy schedule. I've uh, been very busy at work, and I just figured we'll just make it Species Day, and I will bring you Species Day on a different species each video once a week. You would get a, a Species uh, a video once a week from me. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and today's species day is going to be on convict cichlids, black convict cichlids to be at that. And I figured instead of watching me on this species day, why not watch my beautiful pair of black convict cichlids that I have with their fry. You know, and this is just, uh, this is a beautiful 30 gallon sea clear, sea clear tank. Um, and it, ha it houses uh, two pairs, of, or a pair, excuse me, two convict cichlids, one pair, a male and a female, along with about a hundred of their fry right now, give or take. Um, I would say give some on this. And, uh, you know, this is a standard setup. They will live out the rest of their lives in this 30-gallon sea clear tank, which is plenty of room for a pair of convicts, um, as long as it only houses them. It also houses about three other small algae eater fish, uh, not plecos, just algae eater fish, and uh, you, you know, and it, and they do great in this tank. Um, the algae eater since there's fry have been getting ran around some, but uh, not too bad. They stay up at the top, and then these plants over here in the right side. Um, so here we'll go ahead and uh, start off. Of course, it's going to be on convict cichlids. Uh, that is their main name that everybody knows them by. Um, but their other name that they go by is zebra cichlids, of course, because of their stripes. Um, the habitat. We're going to go ahead and talk about the habitat and where they're from and they're in their na in natural environment. And uh, wild is what other people would say. Is, is They are native to Central America and found in lakes and streams and prefer moving water so are usually found in the wild in a stream somewhere where there is constant moving water. They take cover in a rocky environment also with a uh, uh, sunken branches to take cover in. Um, in their natural habitat, the pH ranges from 6.6 .6 to 7.8 degrees, and the temperature ranges from 79 to 84 degrees. Okay, um, and uh, you know, I just like in this right here, it is as close that I wanted to get it with in my liking to their natural habitat. There's tons of driftwood in here, tons of plants. I have some pots in there to, to, to kind of, you know, imitate rocks for they could take cover inside of it and uh, I think this tank turned out beautifully it's kind of dirty right now the plants are all dr uh, dug up they dig them up so I just like them to float and they do pretty well floating I have a grow uh, uh, grow natural grow light on the top that I use to light this tank so the plants get plenty of vitamins from that and this tank looks great I used a uh, um, what is this? I used a play sand in this tank. It's a much lighter sand. They dig, dig in this stuff like crazy and find all their spots and dig under the driftwood. Um, so this is how I set up the tank for a natural environment for a for convict cichlids. Now we're going to go ahead and just run into uh, males and females. Some facts on the male and some facts on the females and just a description on these cichlids. Um, the convict cichlid to be exact. The male convicts um, uh, are mostly gray with light stripes and they, their stripes never get just a dark dark black unless of course they're spawning or have fry which is my male that you'll see coming so he's the larger one up in the bushes up in the plants right now right there is that's about as dark as you'll see their stripes now if they weren't spawning or anything like that he'd be much much lighter but still looks stunning because the male Male grows a much large, longer ventral, uh, dorsal, and anal fins, which just look beautiful. It's very fancy. They're very long, and uh, they just look absolutely great on the males. And uh, now, also, once the males get older and get to a certain size and age, they will start to obtain a fatty lump on their forehead. Um, and well, now we're gonna just go ahead and jump into the female. Is the female is just it's super unusual for the six species I should say but the female has a much higher coloration 
on her a much prettier darker coloration than the male on this species um her her black stripes will get super dark she will start showing colors of pink oranges and teals in her top uh dorsal and anal fins and ventral area and she'll get a nice nice orange round you know blotch on her stomach that darkens up real nice when she goes into spawning colors and also when they are uh uh, caring for their fry. The females obviously stay uh, smaller than the males. They grow to about a size of, of anywhere from about two and a half to three inches is the standard size of a female. The males will grow up to a size of about five inches is about as large as you will find a male convict cichlid. Um, and we'll just jump into it. And, and that's about standard for convict cichlid. There's not much about them. They are very, very easy aquarium fish to keep. Um, the feeding of these cichlids, they have a big, uh, they're carnivores. They like hardy foods. In their natural uh, environment where they are found in the wild, they will, you'll find them eating small fish, insects, worms, plants, and algae. Um, and, and that's, you know, their standard diet. So I'm just going to go in and go ahead right now and hop into how I care for my cichlids and just go over them and my experience of keeping them. I have kept convicts for the past about five years. They were the first uh, type of cichlid that I had ever kept and what got me into this hobby. You know, I feed mine a very high, high protein diet. They eat bloodworms on a regular basis, high protein pellets for coloration, and also the, the veggies that I feed them is just uh, algae tabs. I'll, I'll break one into about fours or threes and drop it down in there, and they'll nibble on that for about the first 30 seconds, get a few pieces off of it, and then leave it alone, and my algae fish clean it up for the rest of the way. And they get that about twice a week. These guys get fed about once to twice a day while there's fry in there right now of blood worms as well as uh, uh, the the high protein pellets for coloration and uh, you know and I and and these fry have been growing like crazy. These fries are fry are probably only two and a half to three weeks old right now and they're and they're getting some size on them. I know you can't see. I'll give you a close up shortly. You know, convict cichlids are very very easy to keep. They're very hardy, can withstand a lot of uh, mistakes and, and if uh, for your first time fish keepers. They are an excellent choice for a first time fish keeper because again, they're very hardy. Um, in order to breed these guys, well, I'm not going to go over breeding in this video because I want to make another video just on breeding. Um, if you want to see another video just basically on breeding the convict cichlids and how to, what to's and, and when they will spawn and all that good stuff, just let me know. And uh, that's that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the convict cichlid species. They are excellent fish. Um, as long as you give them some driftwood, some, some small or larger rocks for them to hide, maintain their temperature at about 80 degrees and their pH anywhere from about a 7 to a 7.4, you will have happy convict cichlids if you put a male and female in there. At, at, those, uh, at those levels of what I just explained, you will get fry and you will get constant fry. I'm sure these guys are going to be breeding again. and. Uh, and uh, even now that they have fry, they, they'll probably have another batch of eggs within the next week, I can only imagine, because it's getting to that point. Um, and as of now, I'm going to go ahead and just show you a close-up of these fish. Um, right here, you just have this beautiful female. The, my convicts are very outgoing and uh, will show themselves to me all the time. Here comes the big male who's uh, being a boss right now because... Uh, because he's got his fry of course if you could see if he gives us a side shot see the reds on his fins as I was talking about and then right here all these little fry let's here he comes again oh yeah there's a good shot for you guys come on buddy show them a side shot and you can see his long uh, ventral uh, dorsal and anal fins on him you can see the light reds in the back fins and uh, that's about as colored up as you will see a male convict cichlid you can see all these fry in here they're getting around I'm feeding them uh, I've been crushing up new life spectrum real fine for them to eat and also the parents have been uh, crushing up uh, blood worms for them to nibble on as well these fry are doing very well again here's a tip uh,
quick tip for keeping any fry. Um, the standard uh, until they grow into juvie stage or about a half inch is what you want to do is get you some sort of netting net that you could wrap around the, the filter, the end, end source of the filter. If not, that thing is going to eat up all your fry. You'll come come and take a look at your aquarium one day and you'll have no fry in here because uh, for some reason the parents like to swim them back and forth, especially these ones in the back. And if that net was not on there, um, all my fry would literally be gone. Here, I'll give you another close-up look on these guys. They're just little, little tiny uh, fry right now and uh, starting to grow out nicely. Um, they look a lot smaller on camera than they do right now. Some of them I can actually see uh, the coloration coming in. And uh, there's the, oh, look at their bickering. Get to, get to catch you a, a little video of them uh, bickering going back and forth. Again, I, that's why I believe that they're going to go ahead and spawn here soon because the male's starting to pick on her and starting to dig. And, uh, you know, but as the most part, they do pretty well. And uh, if she has enough, has had enough of him picking at her, she definitely lets him know and, and, and goes back at him. Um, so there you go, the convict cichlid species, the overview, how to keep them, what to feed them, their water parameters, and just all around uh, a great aquarium fish for new, uh, new fish keepers. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you want me to go over uh, how to breed convicts and, and all that good stuff, just let me know. Again, stay wet, people, and have a blessed day. And I appreciate you watching these videos. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Deuces. Stay wet.